Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Saurabh Kumar Jindwani from ISM Dhanbad, and I'm working on image assessment tool set for the drawing course, which I set up on ETX. As Vandit, my teammate, told you all before, this whole our group is a research-based project on things that have never been done before. So for our initial goal, we have chosen simpler scope for our projects so that we can achieve it within the time limit. My tool will take a teacher's drawing, which is a correct image, and a student's drawing and assess it for matching. This is my application overview. First, I made a course on EDX for drawing, which will be used by students uh, to learn it. And, they'll, and they have got assignments to draw and to assess themselves. The open source libraries I used are OpenCV and Python for the image matching. OpenCV is Open Computer Vision, which is image processing library available. And for the front end, I used HTML, PHP, and JavaScript. The inputs to my application are the user's image and the correct image. For pre-processing, I am rectifying the lightning variations as the user may click it with his own camera. So the lightning might, might vary. Noise reduction, and I am converting it to a binary edge image. And also, as just as Sir said, I am also taking care of the size of the image and position. For matching, I am breaking down the image into small individual components. And then I am comparing the components of the correct image with the corresponding components of the user's image. And as the response, I give an overall score and a visual feedback. I will show it now. Painting or drawing? Drawing, drawing. only drawing. Only drawing, using, only. using what? Only, paint only what, any kind of pen or pencil. Yes, that's, so that uh, is... The student will have to draw something like this and upload, you click the photo. Your course, no, where you draw, drawing that. So draw, draw it. Are, are you you draw? So you draw it, no, draw it. Uh, you draw. I have a drawing, drawn image. I'll upload no, no, it. You draw, yeah. Are you keeping any details? So you can't draw it. Are you so how, tool? how difficult is it to draw? Can you draw hmm. it? No, no, I mean, this yes, is I'm a... Yes, drawn it. You have drawn and taken a picture. You cannot draw Oh, you have taken a picture. Yes, I'll show uh, you. Upload a picture. It's not, what I am doing. it's not a drawing tool. No, what I am saying okay. is that this method is it, it looks like it will just check whether it is a Xerox copy of this image. No, no, no. no, no. So no, no. We have you have to upload some something. Certain yes, sir. Yes, he is he's skipping the <laughs> image. Let's see, the, like this is the image I have drawn with my hand. Yeah. It has uh, and clicked with my foot camera. So it has and, some lightning variations. And the previous image is drawn by what? But who has drawn that image previous? User on, with pen or pencil on paper. It's not exact. It is. It is. This, this is very exact. Original one is so exact. Original one is. Coming Helen, from now you have stolen it. You have stolen yes. it, correct? Yes. Uh, oh. From where? The original course I had taken from the web. What license? No, not not license. <laughs> So this is the correct image and user uploads some image like this. Have to go. Then we'll calculate the score. It will be something like this. You can see that user has got 9.3 out of 10. And some visual feedback on what parts he has drawn wrong or correctly. Like this. The red parts are showing the Wrongly drawn parts. The orange parts are intermediately correct, and the green part, which you can see, is totally correct. So the scoring is based on. But there is a difference between the green. Hmm? There is a big difference. So the curvature, if you see on the right end. It's not only on the. the right. It's not only on the shape. It's on. It's based on various features such as shape, area, its location. Uh, is position with respect to the correct one and I have allo allocated so, different percentages to it. Okay, so how, how much the, the student will get here? How much the student will get? Same. Which is red? We will see, see relatively. Which is the red? Which, this is the original. Left one is original. Which is the red zone? This is the red zone. Red zone. <laughs> this is the area of the area. No, 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 sir. It's shape all. Shape, area and position. I don't tell you what you have done, done yet. Show the software if you want. Okay. Then you know. Nothing. No, he, he can't explain. If you I ask him explain. why this is red, why this orange, he doesn't know. He is using what? the library function. Okay. For He's matching shapes, I am using library function. Library function which, which, which matches to control. Which? It gives him a number between 0 and 1. Zero which library is that? Which He's library? Open CV. Open CV. That is my contour shape matching. He has calculated the two areas. Okay. So he knows how much percentage difference the area is. 
Okay. The third parameter is he knows how, how much location it is wrong. So if you draw the same shape and draw it somewhere else, okay, he will still give you two thirds of the marks. Okay. Because this last part, it is showing orange, it should be red if you see. Just go to the last, last right. Right most, this one. Correct. Uh, so, uh, hmm. I understand. Go, go to the right. Correct. This one, yes. Now, what would have happened here is, what would have happened is, if you see, the contour matching algorithm would have given you almost, almost exact match. Okay. But the hmm. area is, area, area is yes. I am allotting 50% okay. so of marks. Three for all these three evaluations. He is evaluating based on three. Okay. One is whether the shape matches. Okay. Whether the area matches. Where the relative position is. That different weightages for it. He probably how much weightage is for control? Three. 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 Okay. Area doesn't match, so 25 percent less, so it is wrong. That will explain why, when it is red and when it is orange. Okay, so I have calculated uh, scores for each of the components. Each of the components, adding it up. And then, then finally, I am adding it up as the ratio of their area of the or original okay, one. There is one more thing which I don't know whether you have done a weightage for it. Yes, yes, that the weightage of area of the original one. What about the scaling? Scaling thing, I have taken care of scaling. The original image was different. You can, you can show him. Area, area is with respect to the percentage. See, this was the original image. So, it is a percentage match? Huh? Oh, what? Percentage match? Right, percentage match. Huh, you can say that. I have calculated a score out of 10. So, it, you can say this. He has taken because GPG, I can have the camera from here. So, he has taken the overall, overall match. Yes, that was final score. For each component, I have calcul match. calculated scores 50% uh, shape, 25% area, 25% that. Okay, for total score, I am calculating for each component a ratio, which is. Huh? <coughs> for total area? Yes, all. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. That is his first That is his first scaling. See, if that drawing is so small, he hmm. has already expanded it. Already. Yes, yes, that too. Total area match, expand And that's in top. And the, the total image, no, yes, that's matching it too, yes. He, he does the cropping, he crops both the images and the matches. Okay. So, Udar ka image bhi crop karta hai, Idar ka bhi Idar ka crop hai already. So, that cropping he adjusts to this and then start comparing. Okay. What he has not done, Bolo, he, hmm? he has not, uh, he has not done uh, the rotation. Hmm? Ha, drastic rotation, it, we have not taken care yet. We'll take, next time it can be proved. Okay, so these are the works I done. First was the installation and hands-on experience on with OpenCV library. <laughs> I'm just writing this because I had to install it on each each and every computer of our group. <laughs> so it took a lot of time. So I had to write it. Second one is image processing for conversion of user's image to an ideal input. User's image will have noise, variable writing, variable sizing. I have taken I have taken care of that. Then I'm extracting features which are known as contours, uh, which are set of points which mark an area. Exactly. Which are used and, and attributes of each contours. To, to match and then finally matching the corresponding features of the correct image with the user image and generating an overall score. I have also created a web interface for the application as the application was purely Python application. So I have create, also created a web interface and also integrated it with edX platform. So it can be used there. And also I have created a drawing course for the application to use. Then the challenges I faced. First was the fine tuning of parameters for the Because I will tell you Whatever you do, blah, blah, it has got absolutely zero meaning. Yeah. Unless 110 people here actually use your thing and like Aparna ma'am came, okay, and said, I have given this, why I have received six marks. I want to know how good your software is in the, in the minds of the user. When I do a drawing of that cap, hmm. I think I have done it to a reasonable extent. I should get 70 marks. If everybody says you have given half the mark, then I, then you have to modify your software. Okay? Okay, okay. Because like he said, all these things, you have made a first attempted assessment. Hmm. I don't know whether it is correct or not. I have to, we have to fine tune it. Okay. And I cannot keep fine tuning it unless we have data. Okay, you have done most of the work. What is required is fine tuning it post testing. For that testing hmm. is required. Yes. Okay. Test data is required. So you people should give test data. So I want to know the average of this class of 110. 
How many your drawing teacher has given? I am done. Anyway, you talk, he is there. Okay. Okay. I will pass on to her.